Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by the new driver of the number 44 Chevrolet for Nice Motorsports in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Of course, that's Chris Wright. Uh, hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How are you, man? Doing well. So, of course, uh, was announced this week that you're going to be heading to Nice Motorsports as part of the four truck team effort. Of course, um, you're heading to the 44. And, of course, your three teammates, Dean Thompson, Carson Hosovar, and Lawless Allen, of course, uh, makes up the Nice Motorsports lineup for 22. What uh, what intrigued you to make this move? You know, I, we were we were kicking it around a little bit, um, you know, just trying to kind of figure out what we really wanted out of this next season. And, um, you know, having a team that had a pretty good running record this past year and have, you know, a lot of experience and some guys to bounce stuff off of um, is what kind of I needed to get better as a driver. And, um, you know, we're, we're really trying to up the performance um, that I had from last year. Um, so, yeah, just really looking for a solid, solid program with some solid people around it. Yeah, for sure. So I know that this is a, you're part of a, you're part of a four truck team effort. So what do you bring to this team and what can you do? It's a good question. Um, no, so I was in the simulator with Carson and we were talking a little bit about this and that and just different types of racing that he and I have done. Um, like really talking about our past experiences, whether, you know, he did late models and I did the road course stuff. And we were talking to each other about, you know, certain feelings of, you know, the trucks and the tracks and everything. Um, you know, what I feel I can bring as a driver is I'm, I can understand when something changes um, because the cars that I've been in, I've been in, I can't even remember how many different types of race cars and just learning about different feelings and everything. Um, something I can kind of raise a question to sometimes maybe faster than some of the younger guys or less experienced guys, like maybe Dean or someone else. Yeah. All right. All right. So I know that you're doing this, are you going to still be doing some other stuff? I know you were, I know you also ran some road courses in Xfinity for the Sam Hunt team or something like that. Are you, do you plan on doing anything else in adding to the truck series? Not planning on it. Um, if a deal comes along, it's too good to pass up, then we'll probably take it. Um, but nothing's in the books right now. All right. So I know that the, I know you uh, didn't run the the full season last year. I mean, you mostly did, besides the road courses that you ran with yeah. the Sam Hunt. But now you're running the you're running the full season this year. Um, is it? I, I know that. What was it like to just get used to all of these tracks that you ran on um, for the first time? That was a experience I'd like to forget, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, we, as a rookie going out to these mile and a half, these big tracks without any practice, with kind of no sense of what's going on was really intimidating. Uh, Texas, I know I started 19th or 18th and it was daunting to get up and get suited in the truck and get ready to go into turn one at 175 miles an hour, not knowing what to expect. Uh, so this year, you know, they're bringing practice back, and I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, but, you know, we're this year we're focused on, you know, trying to get more up to pace on the tracks that I've been to last year, and we're really kind of pushing the dirt right now because I have very limited experience on dirt, but that's going to change here in the next 60 days. Yeah. So that means you're going to run the Chili Bowl. No, um, I'm uh, driving Legends cars uh, with Joe Ryan race cars. Uh, we're going to get a lot of dirt experience and just some other, just some more oval experience, road course experience, driving a different type of car. Um, and just trying to kind of broaden my whole stock car um, bag of tools. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's going to, it's definitely going to be interesting to see you in there, but what, I mean, this is a full, this is a full season effort, but what, what's it going to, what's it going to take to really succeed? Do you know, like, have you met the team personnel? And also, do you know what your, do you know who your crew chief is yet? Yes. So I just, I was just at lunch with uh, Wally Rogers. He's my crew chief this year. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm really excited about this year. Uh, I'm going to have the same group of people week in, week out. And last year I was a rookie, number one. Uh, trying to learn new tracks, new cars, new this, new that, and then having to bounce between 
you know, the Youngs and Sam Hunt team, it was, uh, it didn't pose as an issue up front, but I'm sure, you know, looking back at it after this, after this upcoming year, um, I'll probably say, you know, that probably hurt me a little bit to trying to get, trying to understand so many different things at the same time, um, kind of worked against me a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I know, I know the guys on my side of, uh, the knee steel, um, and there's a lot of experience there, a lot of knowledge, and we're just really excited about it. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, going to be pretty exciting, but out of all the races, I'm sure you're looking forward to Coda and you're looking forward to all the road courses and stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's, I, I to be honest, I'm, I'm really excited just about everything, honestly. Yeah. Um, there's not, I mean, I'm really, really excited about mid Ohio. I'm not going to lie. Um, but aside from that, I mean, you know, you take your Kansas or your Texas or Atlanta or your Knoxville, like I'm all really excited about everything because I know that this year is going to be, uh, people are going to talk about the 44 truck this year. I really think so. Yeah, for sure. This uh, it's going to, it's going to be an interesting year for you, for all of these motorsports and, and also you particular. So sure yeah, you watch that. But Chris Wright, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you out in Daytona. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me.